Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If this is the first of my videos that you are watching, hi, my name is Sim and I am a South African that is currently living in Scotland and I've been in the UK for about 16 months now. 16 months is obviously a long time to be away from everything that you once called home. So today I wanted to make a video about everything that I miss about South Africa because even though it was my decision to move to the UK and I'm very happy with that decision, there's definitely still a lot of things that I miss about South Africa. The obvious thing that I'm missing is of course my family and friends back home. Not being able to see them has definitely by far been the hardest part of moving to the UK. So I'm not even going to put that on today's list because the way I miss them doesn't really compare to anything else on this list. I'm just going to cover some everyday things. So if you are a fellow South African that is also longing for home or maybe just someone that's curious about South Africa, I hope you enjoyed this video. And with all that said, I think it's time to get into the first thing that I miss about South Africa. The first thing on my list is definitely just the familiarity that I have with South Africa. I grew up and lived in one city for the majority of my life, which is Pretoria, and that is located in Gauteng in South Africa. Because I lived there for the majority of my life, I'm very familiar with the areas in Pretoria, the roads, the shops, where to go, things to do, and even just the community in Pretoria. Even though I've been in the UK for several months now, I still kind of feel like a tourist and I'm definitely not familiar with all the areas, all the roads, or even the best things to do. So I'm definitely still lacking that local knowledge and I'm very much still dependent on Google to get around and to find things to do. Of course, on the other hand, it is really cool to be exploring a new country, but sometimes it's just nice to know where you are going or something basic like just knowing which local grocery store is the best. I definitely already know a lot more than when I arrived in the UK, so it just takes time to settle in. I mentioned being familiar with shops in South Africa and the next two things that I miss are my favorite shops in South Africa. The first store that I really miss is Woolworths. We do have grocery stores here that could be considered similar like Weight Rose and m and but honestly I feel like it is so overpriced for what you actually get and yes I know Woolworths is also quite expensive but I feel like you always got a value for what you were paying. Where here I feel like the quality of Weight Rose and m and isn't really worth the extra money, I'd rather just pay less at Sainsbury's or Tesco's. The base part of Woolworths is the finger foods that are perfect for a picnic and I really, really miss those little mini hamburgers. The second store that I really miss is Forever New. And if you're not familiar with Forever New, it is a clothing store originally from Australia, I believe, but they do have a few stores in South Africa as well. It's definitely not an everyday store because it is quite expensive but I feel like the quality of their clothes is also really good. And I feel like there was just always something on my wish list from Forever New. And I miss having that one store that I know I can count on to have something nice for me to wear for a special occasion. Of course, for all the shopping, you need money. And I do think that since I moved to the UK, I've had less disposable income to spend on things that aren't really needed or essential and more just like a treat yourself type of expense. Three words for you, treat yourself. Part of that is of course the fact that we moved to a different country which was really expensive. And of course we have to start building up our home from scratch here. So it is quite expensive getting all those big furniture items and appliances where in South Africa we already had all those things so we don't really have to worry about also spending money on that. The other thing is that going out in the UK is a bit more expensive I would say than compared to South Africa. Restaurants are definitely more expensive, alcohol is more expensive 
But in a way, I also think that there's a lot of things that you can do here for free, like going to different parks and museums. And of course, for us, just wandering around the town is still entertaining because just walking around, we are really like experiencing new things without having to pay for it. <laughs> The fifth thing that I miss about South Africa is a bit different than the other things that I've already mentioned and that is built-in cupboard space or just like extra storage space. It's very rare to find a house or a flat that has built-in cupboards. The place that we are currently staying literally had no cupboards so we had to order a wardrobe and recently went through the whole process of trying to put it together which was a mission but I do find it quite interesting that they don't have built-in cupboards. I think it's maybe because the houses and flats are smaller than in South Africa so instead of using that extra space to also add a cupboard they'd rather not have have that I guess and make the room look bigger but in the end you need the storage space so you might as well just have the cupboard in there. One thing that South Africa is of course known for throughout the world is its wildlife. South Africa is just a beautiful country and the nature is amazing but what you might not know is that the UK also has really stunning parts especially here in Scotland. The only thing is they don't really have the wildlife that you can see in South Africa. I'm sure there is some type of wildlife in the UK but it's definitely nothing like you can expect to see in South Africa and I really really miss those trips to the bush. It's just the perfect getaway from the city and nothing beats that feeling of sitting around a campfire and listening to all the different noises coming from the bush and when you look up it's just like a million stars. And of course, waking up early the next day to see the animals at sunrise. And that's definitely a unique experience that I really miss about South Africa. Another part of the nature that I miss from South Africa is the thunderstorms. Obviously, the UK is known for its rain, so we don't need more rain here. But I haven't actually heard any thunder here. In Pretoria where I used to live we used to get like crazy thunderstorms and the lightning would be insane but even here when there's been storms and it's pouring down I've never actually heard thunder and I feel like the thunder just adds atmosphere to the storm and it makes it feel a lot more cozy inside. <laughs> Obviously, I can't talk about the things that I miss about South Africa without bringing up the food. I have mentioned previously that I think South Africa's food is better than the food in the UK. That's obviously just my personal opinion and maybe just what I'm used to. But there are definitely a few fast food places that I crave on the regular here in the UK. My favorite fast food place in the whole world, which I obviously can't get here in the UK, is Steers. I can't tell you how many times I've just been craving a rave burger and nothing beats Steers chips. Luckily we were actually able to get some Steers chips seasoning at one of the South African stores in the UK so that has definitely been a game changer whenever we have like potatoes or oven chips. Wimpy is another fast food place that I am definitely ordering as soon as I get back to South Africa. There's just something about a Wimpy cheeseburger with the hash brown that just makes me think of whenever you are driving down to the coast you have to stop at Wimpy for a breakfast or lunch. Of course I also have to mention Spur. I mean are you even a South African if you haven't been to a children's party at Spur? I do have to say Spur can sometimes be a hit or miss. I've had some pretty burnt burgers but then I've also had amazing burgers. And the chicken schnitzel with the cheese sauce is also just a classic. I'm honestly getting so hungry just talking about all this food so if you hear my stomach and just ignore that. The next thing that I really miss about South Africa is rusks. Especially with tea being such a big thing in the UK, what is the perfect thing to have with your tea? Some rusks. I definitely think people in the UK are missing out on this. Luckily, we were also able to find some Oma rusks at a South African butchery here. So we have to regularly make a trip there because it goes really quickly. <laughs> And the last thing that I miss about South Africa is the amazing cheap wine that we have. 
South Africa is definitely known for its amazing wine and it's even cooler if you can experience it at the vineyard because what isn't better than having cheap wine and an amazing view at the same time. Honestly, if you've never done a wine tasting in South Africa, I would 100% recommend putting that on your bucket list. That covers all 10 things that I miss about South Africa. I really hope I can go back home and experience it again soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this and tips for South Africans moving to the UK, please remember to subscribe down below because that helps my channel to grow and I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and then I'll see you guys in my next video.